This is my father. He's an earnest and righteous man. He told me that he's going to build a diner somewhere around town with me. This is me. My name is Oro. I was 5 years old back then and I had no idea what my father is on about at that time. My father works in a car shop in this town. He's in good terms with his boss and is friendly to every customer he had. Everyone loved him for his honesty and genuineness. He continued to work at the car shop to support the both of us until I became an adult. So whatever makes him happy, I'll make sure to support him with everything I've got. I'm his son after all. I stopped going to school and now work at the diner that my father built. I don't think that it's going to be enough, so I took a job at a warehouse as a bonus for myself. A few months later, I got promoted to a supervisor. Everything was going so well for me. Not so for my father. His kind nature was exploited by my mother who left us. He told me about the debt and how my mother took advantage of him. I asked what him why he still involves himself with such this? a duplicitous person. Loan is one thing. Giving that woman money is another. He told me that he signed the birth certificate of a child who wasn't even his. If only he knew that my mother is seeing another man and raising another child. Leaving the both of us. To rot. My father on the other hand fought in court child support to Mrs. but lost. Children. The court decided that my father shall send child support for my mother. I never knew that he's going through so much while raising me. I should not have shouted at him. No one wanted this. There's nothing I can do about it. Now that I'm an adult, he told me that I don't have to concern myself with him and he'll find a way on his own. If you want to leave, I'll understand. It's all on me anyways. I told my father that I won't be working in the diner anymore. I decided to look for extra income to support my father in order for him to live prosperously. With that in mind, I will support him in my own way. That way, I'll ease the weight that he's carrying.
I swear I wasn't sleeping. I was just taking a break, that's all. I I'll go back to work. One day, a sudden opportunity arrived. Ah! Let go! I heard you wanted money. Who are you? I'm someone very close to you. Hear me out. What is this? Candy? No. It's not candy. You don't have to worry about that. You won't touch them anyways. You'll be doing something else. Your identity will be protected. What do you mean? We will work under a different name. That way we can protect ourselves. Oro will cease to exist once you shake my hand. Only in one condition. My father and the diner. What part of working under a different name did you not understand? We could also pay that debt of yours without the bank knowing where it comes from. If you know what I'm saying. So, are you in or out? Today, I enter a new life. I wish I hadn't. Starting today, you will live here. But I do have to warn you not to interact with the neighbors. Why is that? Well, we do not want to gather unnecessary attention in our line of business now, do we? Only I know that you are here. See? You won't feel homesick this way. You do what you always do. Keep everyone in check. Make sure they don't screw up like this fool over here. Whoa. Look. Uh, is that normal? How are you still functioning? It adds to our cover, really. It's... It's... Okay, maybe not. At least you got an idea why you're needed here. Last time we almost got caught because someone did not mark the package where we stored the product. Cops were sniffing for a week. We're lucky we got away with it. Follow me. You'll be doing more than employee checkups. Here's the mark that I was talking about. Inside these buckets are the product that we are selling, right? Yep. We better be careful where these goes. There's also a certain code that you should be aware of. Once you're in, you're in. There's no going back. I do hope you understand the risk that you are taking. You should tread carefully from now on. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be both rich before we turn 30. Where do I sign? My task is basically the same for my last job, but as a security consultant. This workplace is proven to be dangerous based from what I'm seeing. And with the way they handle their job, I'm actually surprised they lasted this long.
then I met workers who working? did not value the rules and vest? safety of the workplace. Get back to work. With how the environment functions, I can't stand by and leave the loading dock unchecked. Then I saw a worker with a marked pink bucket going to the wrong truck. Where are you taking that? Mark I told him where to put it even and hopefully he remembers. I do hope this ain't normal. I was told that everyone here is on the same boat as I am. Kind of explain why most workers here are inexperienced. I do hope all of this is worth it. A month passed by, and I couldn't believe what I'm seeing. The pay that I received dwarfed my previous income. It seems like a never-ending pool of money. I like it. this anymore. Every time I leave this place, I just don't want to come back. Shush. Do you... Do you want to disappear? No, of course not. Don't you feel guilty? Every day we stack this into one of those trucks, we ruin someone's life. We don't have a choice. We're in this game now, boy. the rapid improvements in our workplace, I was noticed by the one behind it all. 
Yes. What is it? Tell him. I want him in my office. And there I was, inside the devil's belly. And so, the boss is in front of me. He asked me why I entered this world. He assumed that I was in for the easy money and such. My co-worker warned me not to disclose any information. And so I did. He asked me where the product goes. He said that they have a network that delivers the product to the distributors. Disguised as painters and carpenters. And distributes the product around town using a candy machine. Supervised by a fake business owner. Regulars come by in broad daylight. To buy our product it's not our business on how they use them as long as we make money we will keep doing it he says he then asked me why I wasn't bothered by it I told him that as long as I profit I'll be in the business I'm not even sure if it's a lie anymore he then told me about the breakage with one of the workers. I sure did get the idea one of those involved ran away. They found him by the block and took him away. And so wanted me to look out for situations like those. I reassured him that I will. He praised me and welcomed me in this game of his to play with fire, pretending it was water. Lately I feel like I'm being monitored. The hell are you looking at? Get back to work. I can't get it out of my head. Today I told my co-worker that I'll be inviting my father over. He made arrangements so that no one knows about our meeting. He greeted me and noticed the change in my appearance. I invited him in so that we could catch up. Sorry if the lights are off. Electricity is down. My father told me that someone wants to buy the diner and expanded it around town. Apparently, his dues from the bank were already paid, thanks to my co-worker. Why not come back to the diner? Is it really necessary that it took you two years to meet me? Could you at least just phone me where you are, what you're doing? I guess I got a little busy. Jesus, you look like a mess. Can I ask you a question? Do you ever regret meeting mom? Despite all the things that she has done to us? Cheating on me? Giving me unfathomable amount of debt? No, I don't think so. Why? With all of the horrible things happening ever since meeting her, there's one good thing I got from all of that. <laughs> Here's another. If a genie suddenly appears, what wish will you make? That's an odd question. No, I don't want to deal with the genie. It's just fantasy. You can play with the concept. Don't worry about anything. Yes, I know. It's just that... Genies are tricky. They give you what you want, but they'll also take something away from you. Whatever I wish for will not be worth the risk, personally.
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. It's just that it's been so long since we had a conversation. You could at least call me. Oh, the lights are on. We have plenty of time. I wish moments like this stays forever. I wish I have never left the diner. You don't sound like you're fine. Where are you? It's been a year, Oro. Could you at least call once a week? We talked about this. You even refused to tell me your contacts. What are you even doing? Dad? There's something I wanted to tell you. I'm a criminal. Huh? I'm a criminal, Dad. What kind of sick joke is this? It's not a joke. Remember the time when we were at the park? And you said that we'll build the diner together? I guess it's just you now. What are you trying to tell me? <sighs> okay, here's what's going to happen. I will call the police and we'll talk to them, alright? I just want you to know that you tried your absolute best. Whatever happens to me happens. Hey, I'm not done talking. I need to fight back. I have to. Or else...
You got your name, neighbor. I noticed your car was broken, so I fixed it for you. And to my dismay, the shadow spoke. It turns out that he's one of my neighbors. He was fixing my broken down car that I used to get here. Now that I think of it, I never got a good look at these people. It was all in my head. I gave my neighbor my last clean money that I have earned. It's time for me to tie up loose ends. to the wrong place. Police were called, then there's that. Just like that, it's over. To be honest, you're only delaying the inevitable. They're bound to get caught somehow, with or without you. How about you? What are you going to do now? Make it up to your dad, Oro. Thank you. 